Hey everybody, it's Paul from Cary Estate Planning back with another video as part of our 2020 video challenge. Today we're talking about Quora.com estate planning questions and answers. Today's question is, can I use one power of attorney for both financial and healthcare authorities? The answer is yes, and that's actually how it used to be done very commonly, that you would have a singular durable power of attorney, sometimes called general power of attorney, that would cover all authorities, healthcare, financial, or otherwise, for the principal. The issue with that sort of tool is that it usually only appointed one person. So in the event that that person was incapacitated themselves or was unavailable, you had no backups. It also created a disclosure issue uh, and a uh, difference of competencies issue, right? So if you have specific people who would be great for financial authority, but would be pretty terrible for uh, healthcare decision-making authority or vice versa. Do you really want to appoint one of them for both roles? Probably not. Also, when you go to your hospital and they want to put your healthcare power of attorney on uh, your digital medical record, do you really want the financial aspects of that known to your doctor as well? Probably not. Vice versa, if you go to the bank and need to use a power of attorney for financial purposes, do you really want your healthcare wishes exposed to the bank? Probably not. So generally, the, the popular or modern method to do this is to have separate powers of attorney, to name specific people for each role as needed, and then to have uh, disclosure happen only as needed and when needed so that things don't become just part of the public record or disclosed to people who don't need to know that information.